What's up, what's up, guys? Bitcoin Overdose here, your daily dose of crypto. I do overdose so you guys don't have to. Definitely go click that subscribe button. Click that like button down below for more content just like this. And guys, go follow me over at Bitcoin Overdose on Twitter um, if you haven't already. But guys, we're going to be going over XLM today. Stellar Lumens is something that I've been keeping a very close eye on. It's been, probably been one of the best bounces since this whole drop and sell off in Bitcoin, we're going to take a look at that chart. We're going to see why that one is overperforming or why that one is really showing exuberance, even in this bullish or bearish trend, but overall bullish trend that we've been watching um, kind of play out on the main stage. It's been kind of crazy, too, because we've seen Ethereum, we've seen Bitcoin kind of not really take any type of strength off of these bounces, off these lower lows. And um, it's making higher lows. I mean, the overall trend right now, like, could be shifting maybe into alts. It's kind of what I'm expecting to happen. Bitcoin might get a dump. We might get a really big flush out here with a lot of bullish volume in altcoins. But it will only be a few winners. And you want to be in those winners. And I know I've talked about 0x. I know I've talked about Ren quite a bit. But today, I just want to go over XLM and then maybe take a look at XRP. It's close cousin, but not related by blood. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, yeah, again, if you guys haven't yet, click that subscribe button over here at Bitcoin Overdose. We are almost up to 2K subs, um, finally. So, let's get in there. It's going up quite a bit. And then again, hit that follow button over at Bitcoin Overdose on Twitter. Um, your mom's a favorite crypto channel guys like i said overall in the top 10 right now um, i don't know why i got my portfolio pulled up but if we go over to the home here we have bitcoin chilling at 46.9 we have ethereum chilling right below 1500 add a a really big winner here at 142 i don't know how much longer that one has but i figure it took a lot of the hype over from xrp um it just looks like it's you know kind of doing the same thing and it isn't listed yet on coinbase so i sold this one out at like 50 cents i haven't touched it since um i obviously mi missed quite a bit of a pump after and my entry would have been pretty great overall but um you know i i got in at a good time i think i got out at a good time too um bnb guys 226 they're so still holding in that top five spot we talked about polka dot yesterday at 35 dollars. i think this one will keep rising as well uh, we have XRP at 44. We're going to be talking about that one here in a moment. LTC, guys, 175.03. So this one's holding majority gains of 150. Um, we kind of had a quick spike up into the 210 ranges and then right back down. Definitely something to keep an eye on, though, here moving forward. Link, guys, at 26. So this one's dropping pretty high out of the top 10. And then we have XLM at the top 10 now, finally claiming, reclaiming over Bitcoin Cash. Um, we've seen XLM kind of in and out of the top 10 for the last couple of weeks. But this is the first time we're seeing Bitcoin Cash actually take out of the top 10 completely. It was usually top 8. But yeah, we have Link now kind of chilling, almost kind of running out of steam here too. So guys, XLM might flip Link today or tomorrow. I don't know why, but XLM and XRP and that uh, really the big winners right now uh, in the overall market now obviously top 10 these can change at all times uh we really only are here to overdose on bitcoin in the end of the day um we really need to see bitcoin shine before most of these do shine but um what i wanted to take a look at real quickly here and this might explain why i guess to an extent that we are seeing these massive bullish swings in some altcoins and it's particularly the chart that ends with btc.d guys it's bitcoin dominance um we've seen way more than regular volume from bitcoin being switched over to altcoins we're nearing that DeFi season high uh when we were back in august and september when we saw link initially make that run when we saw random initially make that run when we saw lrc initially make that run um <clears throat> and it just getting back down to that level guys we're i don't know if we'll see an exit pump on this um i i was really hesitant a couple of weeks ago saying that this was the top because 72 percent bitcoin dominance made sense um just kind of chilling in that range would have been great but with this kind of a drop with this kind of a sell-off that we are getting right now 
um in bitcoin and we're seeing bitcoin dump but again we're seeing these kind of these few altcoins run and if you guys remember from way way back here the s competitors um really thrive in that, that 55 percent range and then we had ethereum the big initial i mean 2018 alt season was really like the ethereum run that we saw from 1700 like it was i don't know 30 to 1700 dollars basically over the year but what we're seeing right now is potentially the first kind of dip into like where the DeFi coins will really start running. And then I think we'll see ADA and then I think we'll see Binance. We'll see kind of like the bigger Ethereum competitors. And then all in all, we'll kind of end it with a giant flush out of Bitcoin um, before it kind of starts pumping back up again. Uh, as been the case, at least in the last couple of years, I don't know. I mean, this could be the one where Bitcoin just ends and maybe everybody just starts investing in Ethereum, but then there's no value in Ethereum long-term very much so just because of inflation rates. So I don't know guys, this could get really interesting. If we do see a giant flush out of Bitcoin and Bitcoin dominance never really comes back up above like say 50 or 60% again, and it just maybe is like you know 25 or 30 percent if bitcoin just chills in that range for a very long time um it's gonna kind of bring a lot of doubt i guess into the actual crypto space or how much is actually worth because i know everybody right now is saying oh bitcoin's just the gold of crypto or you know digital gold but guys if digital gold is only worth 25 percent of the crypto market what does that imply for the rest of the crypto market i don't want to get too much into that but Let's just let's just get away from that altogether, guys. XLM, I don't even want to think about that because honestly, like if Bitcoin's really not worth that much, then what are we doing here overdosing on it, guys? I would just buy Bitcoin and chill. I would not even look at the charts at that point. But anyways, guys, XLM jumping up quite a bit, bouncing a little bit off of that local high. It's the neckline at 46 cents. But the averages are holding here. I think that $37 or 37 cent entry would have ended up being pretty good here in this case now we are looking for quite a bit of support here this is a bit overbought overextended now thankfully i guess on the rsi the relative index strength down here it is right in the middle of the range so we will probably get a little bit of a sell-off before we pump a little bit higher which is going to be good it's going to be a bullish dip um you know you're going to want to maybe pick it up around 42 cents or 41 cents if we can get that low um, but yeah, as of right now, like this looks like it's you're gonna keep pumping. So I don't even know if we'll get that entry. Uh, guys, what we're kind of looking for on to, to claim that this is totally bullish, right? We're looking for a four hour close over 46 cents. Um, so this might take a couple of days. I don't know if it'll happen today or tomorrow. It looks bullish right now. It could happen in the next four hours. But if you guys are just looking at the four hour chart, we have a gap. We have a literal gap like right here from 43 to 44 cents um so this is definitely getting bought up quickly um and you know just going off of like hey we retested we rebought the retest right and that's, that's always been a very very good plan overall that's why i've been taking a look at even like ren yesterday um if we go back to that the the buying the retest down here at 90 cents or 85 cents would turn out pretty good in the long term but looking back at xlm um you know even like the ethereum chart or the uh <laughs> the euro chart is looking pretty good too but yeah i mean this came down right to support filled the gap we knew that was happening um this looks good overall that's really all i can say um now again like if we break 50 cents and that's like the major point of contention right now but if we break 50 cents get into the 70 dollar or 70 cent range i think we'll see a dollar here pretty soon dollar 10 on xlm pretty quickly um yeah i mean it can happen so fast but you know the weekly is over we are uh catching these gaps here guys this is this is filling out pretty nice so i would just keep an eye on xlm this could be the second leg up in the overall bull trend we could probably see one more so um, definitely something that I'm keeping an eye on. I haven't even like re-entered yet. Uh, I was entered into like into the 60 cent range, sold out there, and then I've been waiting to kind of re-enter. But I should have rebought at 31 cents. Looking at it now, it came perfectly down to that uh, moving out or to that uh, to that support line. 
um wicked down there catching the moving averages in here and it is i mean if it holds over 44 cents guys this thing will probably see a dollar pretty soon um like i was saying guys it's all about bitcoin dominance so right now this money is staying in the system this is in crypto right now this money's in crypto it's staying in crypto we have 1.4 billion or trillion which is absolutely nuts we might get down to 1 trillion again retest it by the retest that's really about it i can't stress it enough but anyways guys bitcoin overdose here your daily dose of crypto i do overdose so you guys don't have to definitely click that subscribe button click that notification bell down below to stay up to date and if you guys haven't yet, go follow me over at Bitcoin Overdose on Twitter, your mom's favorite crypto channel. Okay, guys, I have to remind you, as I always do, but look both ways before crossing the street. Only you can prevent forest fires, have fun, stay in school, don't do drugs, but most importantly, buy Bitcoin and chill.